Thanks for joining us. I'm Vince Vetrano. And I'm Susan Kim. Heavy rain and thunderstorms moved into southeast Wisconsin. Well, we know at least lightning caused one fire in Germantown. Here's a look at the scene from overnight there. The fire chief said the owner saw a huge flash of lightning and it ripped a hole in the gas line before catching fire. Crews arrived to heavy flames in the attic. The homeowners were able to get out safely. One firefighter was hurt. He sprained an ankle getting off the truck. Also, Rock County storms. The storms there uprooted trees and downed power lines. Several streets in Janesville closed because of the damage. One man says a tree branch crushed two of his cars yesterday. It was raining really hard and, and leaves started coming over the, over the roof. And then all at once the tree, the big branch came down. That was it. Crews from Alliant Energy, Public Works, and the fire department all worked to clean up the damage. No injuries reported. More local news now. Police want to find the woman who caused this fiery crash in Brown Deer. Investigators said the woman was speeding away from Burlington Coat Factory after shoplifting yesterday afternoon. They say she ran a red light and slammed into another car, leaving that driver unconscious. And I was so close to him, to the car, I could feel the heat, and I just started to panic. So I just began to just scream and stump up and down, get out the car, get out the car. Police say the 26-year-old in that car suffered just minor injuries. The suspect ran from the crash scene. Investigators believe someone else picked her up and drove her out of the area. Packers Extra Now. If you plan to tailgate up in Green Bay this weekend, save a little bit of room for stadium food inside. Yeah, here's what's new at Lambeau this year. Pretzel bite nachos and the Bratzilla. Plus, there's a franchise pretzel. It's twisted in a G the size of a pizza. Lambeau was recently named in People Magazine's list of best NFL concessions. The Packers take on the Seattle Seahawks at Lambeau Field on Sunday. You can watch that game right here on today's TMJ4. Kickoff is at 730. Well, we knew it was going to rain overnight, and we even said heavy at times. Whew, was it ever. Some spots picking up two, three, even four inches of rain or more. Heavy, heavy rains across the area. As of 7 o'clock, still mostly cloudy. You're going to get a little bit of sunshine off and on throughout the day. It's 67 degrees and humid outside. A couple of changes now for today, which were expected. A little bit more cloudiness, cooler temperatures, humidity, and lighter wind. But the good news is the first round of two of the rains have now moved out after some very heavy downpours. Anywhere you see in green is at least an inch across parts of Ozaki, Fond du Lac, uh, Washington and Dodge counties, even Milwaukee and parts of Washington or Waukesha County. Then you get into the yellows and the oranges. That is two to three inches of rain and then four to maybe even five inch amounts in parts of uh, Walworth and Kenosha and even eastern or western portions of Racine County. These are estimates, so they might be a little on the high side, but you get the idea. Some very heavy rain to the south. With that said, another round of rain moving in tonight. And this was supposed to be the heavier of the two events. So a flash flood watch has been issued until from 7 o'clock tonight until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Milwaukee out to Madison and then southward into northern Illinois. Our northern county is not in the watch as of right now. You did pick up about one to maybe even two inches of rain overnight. But those heavier rain amounts have really saturated the ground south of Milwaukee. And any additional rain is going to cause some flash flooding. So as you can see, more rain on the way. Another one to two inches of rain across all of southeastern Wisconsin, and there could be, like last night, some isolated higher amounts. So for today, mostly cloudy, a few sprinkles here and there between now and around four o'clock. And then here comes the next wave of showers and thunderstorms. Hopefully it holds off until after the evening commute. But you can see from the forecast, there is a lot more rain to come. Not expecting severe weather, so no damaging winds, hail or tornadoes, but more heavy rain and flash flooding. This morning, we are in the mid-60s. It's still humid, but the drier air knocking on the door. Here's your front right through the central part of the state and very dry and cool air back off to the west. That will be here later tonight and definitely for tomorrow. Six on the Goddard gauge, mostly cloudy, 73. That's where we should be for temperatures, but it's going to be humid with those showers moving in late this afternoon. You can see on the future forecast just a few spotty showers throughout the late afternoon, but the better chance of rain is overnight tonight with heavy downpours, hopefully getting out of here before 7 o'clock in the morning. And then clearing and windy for Saturday and temperatures stuck in the 60s. So if you're going over to Camp Randall tomorrow, 62 degrees for tailgating, windy, 67 at kickoff, and 66 by the end of the game. And if you're heading up to Lambeau Field, it'll be 70 for tailgating, but by the end of the game, it'll be in the lower 50s. So here's your seven day forecast 73 today, 67 tomorrow. Heavy rains likely tonight, 70 on Sunday, just absolutely gorgeous. And early next week looks to be beautiful as well.